efficiency and effective service for the operation in electricity um, supplying in the country, but most importantly, to ensure that <coughs> benefits that have been extended, or extended to organization within this country is not curtailed in any way, but you just structure it properly. I want to, to move quickly, Mr. President, to Section 6, Amendment to Section 12 of the Principal Act. And I, am, I think this is an excellent move in light of the fact, well, let me just read what it says. In subsection 2, it said, um, Section 12 of the Principal Act is amended as follows. A, in subsection 2, by inserting after paragraph E the following paragraphs. Grant non-discriminatory access to the transmission and distribution system as prescribed by this act. I'll stop there. And that's F, G, offer to self-generators and independent power producers the interconnection agreement approved by the commission. So we understand and we know the commission will be there to ensure that regulation is in place and persons, the, the licensee is, will give the okay and the permission for self-generators and new generators permission and access to the grid. Talk about interconnectivity. What is very significant here, Mr. President, in light of the fact that when we talk about investors coming in and investment in this country, investment in the economy, and we're seeing it. We're seeing the development of this project in Liberia way up in the north, as the case may be. What is important here, Mr. President, is to ensure that wherever the development is taking place, even if at this point in time there are not adequate supply or the, the, the phase of power generation in those areas to support those sort of development, the commission in its constant review will speak to the network, network licensee to ensure that there are adequate power supply in those if you want to call it remote areas. So this is significant in ensuring, in driving development of this country. And we are seeing it happening. Development is, is happening at a fast pace. So we have to ensure that our systems are in place, electric systems are in place to support this. And when we go further down into subsection B, or section B in that uh, the clause B, sorry, um, on the clause B, uh, three, we have three sections there, subsections. It said, uh, and in three, that's C, it said, supply its electricity to consumers in new areas. And that's what I, I'm talking about. The commission in its ever constant review will speak to the licensee to ensure that consumers in new areas are adequately fed. Because, for example, There might be a few homes in a particular area, you know. But the cottage industry is growing. And in so growing, the, those homes need the access to the electric, the, to electricity. The commission will now speak to the, the, pro, um, the network licensee to ensure that those areas have the connection. And I know people have been complaining and saying, well, They've been told they have to buy how many poles, and poles are expensive and so on. This is saying, in this age where development and we're empowering our small people to enter into cottage industries and, 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 and the likes, and cooperatives, they will have the support of electricity to ensure that they can produce and their business can be viable. Clause 20, which our brother and senator on the other side spoke quite a lot about. And um, I just, in passing, Mr. President, I want to say that nothing will change except to have regulation and a framework in place to ensure how monies are disbursed is according to whatever the established rules and norms are. Clear and simple. So don't try to frighten sporting organizations and tell, make them to believe that they will not have access to funding, the 5% pre-2015 
pre-tax profit that will be established and is established in that general fund that will go towards community organization and community programs that will still be there. It will not be taken away. So it is un unfair. It's not right to try to frighten those organizations. organizations.